Time to get your fix. Come on down, get your Hello, my name is Zach Rye with Old Man Gaming, and this is another horrible game review. As usual, the disclaimer's up front. The word horrible in the title of this content does not necessarily refer to the game or DLC that I am reviewing, but the actual content itself. This is a snap judgment review. I get five to ten hours with the game tops actually less with this one because i only played the demo and uh i'm just trying to give you an idea of whether you're going to like the game right off the bat or not uh because of that i don't give scored reviews i don't believe in them for video games i think it's one of the most subjective forms of art so therefore i'm going to give you an overview of what the game is then i'm going to tell you the pros and cons of the game in my point of view as all reviews are and then i'm going to tell you whether or not i'm going to be sticking with it outside the purposes of this review all that done and said, I am reviewing Undead Darling, No Cure for Love, available on Steam. Now, you're probably wondering, this isn't a AAA game, this isn't a big title, uh, this is a much smaller thing that you can find, and uh, you're probably wondering why I'm reviewing it. Well, because of that, I'm going to give another small, quick disclaimer. One of the people who worked on this game is somehow related to me. I'm not exactly sure how you'd qualify it. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is the nephew of my stepmother. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what that makes us. But I have hung out with him a couple of times over my life. I did not know he was a game producer. I haven't talked to him in many, many, many years. Uh, but I do want you all to, you know, we're all about transparency here. So I do want you all to know that I would have never looked at this game or reviewed this game if not pointed in that direction by my stepmother. And in addition to that, I've only played the demo, the demo that is available on Steam. I just don't have the money right now to pay for it full price. Uh, eventually, I might. Um, but I have only actually jumped into the demo itself. So all that being said, keep that in mind when I review this. So what is Undead Darling, No Cure for Love? Well, best I can tell, it is a dungeon crawler slash relationship uh, simulator sort of thing, a visual novel type thing. It's very unique in that way. Um, the relationship stuff, I'm not exactly sure how much of that is in this game because there wasn't a ton of it in the demo. The demo was very much more focused on the dungeon crawling aspect. So if it is an in-depth romance, so I'm going to kind of stay away from reviewing the romance part of it because I don't know that I got to see enough of it to really make a good, uh, a, a good judgment on it. Also, the demo kind of picks up in the middle of the story, and I understand why they do this. I'm assuming because you do not have all of your companions right off the bat, uh, so they don't want to just show you the first couple hours of the game, because if they did, you would be limited to the amount of characters that you got. Uh, in games like this, uh, they're very slow and methodical with their dungeon crawling, so I, they wanted to give you a lot of options right over off the bat. They wanted to show you the full potential of this game with the demo, and I think they successfully did that. On the other hand, leaves you a kind of lost as far as the story goes. From what I can tell, uh, you are a guy named Reggie who is uh, slash related to or no well does isn't related to but knows a series of women who have all been bit and turned into half zombies, which have given them some sort of superhuman abilities. Um, with that said, I am assuming that's where the dating comes in. You pick one to go after. Or whatever again there wasn't a lot of that in the game but you're traveling around trying to find the cure as well as your father who seems to be somehow connected to the virus and or cure uh, this takes place through two different things that i can tell one is large uh, communicating, talking scenes in between big, sprawling dungeon crawls. Uh, the dungeon crawls allow you to pick three of the women. Uh, you don't personally do any of the fighting. You pick three of the, the ladies, each with their own abilities, each with their own potential to combo with each other. You pair them up in the way that you want, and you take them into the dungeon. Uh, the dungeon itself is 3D rendered. You move through the environment trying to find an objective uh, while running into both random encounters as well as little icons that show that you're going to run into a monster. 
and of course there's plenty of looting and grabbing during uh, along the way uh, all of the monsters are very kind of crazy off the wall you can tell that they're doing this uh, that this game's feel ha is a little bit tongue-in-cheek there's a lot of comedy in it i also noticed a couple of references to old resident evil games they're obviously both making fun of themselves while taking themselves seriously at the same time it's very interesting um all of the art reflects kind of an anime based style which reflects the you know the relationship the the visual novel sort of genre and that right there is the cribs notes for the demo there's not a whole lot of other stuff to it um again I would have liked to see a little bit more of the romance stuff in the demo if there is more romance stuff uh, just to kind of play with those systems. But it was very clear that they want you to see the dungeon crawling and experience that. And that's what they chose to show us. So as usual, let's go positive first. Let's go into the pros. Number one with a bullet. I have got to say this right out the bat. Whoever wrote the combat music for this game I can't get it out of my head. It is an earworm that has crawled into my brain and will not go away. I, I was looking for fights. I, I ended up dying a couple of times just because I loved listening to that fight music so much. It's just this catchy loop tune uh, that's just great. Um, it's 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 phenomenal. It it's absolutely phenomenal. And uh, uh, I if. <laughs> Oh, whoever wrote that, absolute genius. Just nice, simple, old school JRPG battle music, but it's just, it's just so good and pumping. Just like every battle, just gives me, get me hyped. Even though they're they're just still pictures on the screen, uh, imitating attacks on one another. My next pro is a big pro to the combat system, and I probably should have gotten a little bit more in-depth in the overview uh, on what a combat system is, so I might do it a little bit here. Uh, the combat system, like I said, you pick three, uh, and then depending on which one of the tons of abilities each one of these women have you do, um, they can actually link up into combos, which do different attacks uh, all by themselves, but to do that, you have to actually get them together in the initiative chain which is really very interesting to me because this game at its core and the combat mechanic that you want to focus on is initiative manipulation because each attack takes puts you in a different spot in the initiative uh, i i think that's genius um usually initiative is just kind of like a ah they go there or whatever um it's just a to tell you when to act but this actually gives you kind of like a feel to the initiative and i, I just love that uh, i love that when i could get uh, two of the women together and figure out which attack worked well. They could do this like big combo on each on the enemies, um, and it also backfired when I tried to link them together and they got positioned wrong and missed it. It, it was just very intriguing. Um, you have a life bar and a magic bar. Uh, the standard attack doesn't seem to be worth anything. I don't know if I was doing it wrong, but it just didn't do any damage whatsoever, um, and it also didn't heal any of your special points back. Um, I do think one of my biggest problems, well, you know, we'll get into that in the cons. But overall, combat system was very intriguing and fun. Um, I would, I, I, with what I spent on it time-wise, I was still learning. It was still intricate. And it was simple enough to do but hard to master, and I like that. My next pro is one of my favorite pros and I did not expect this going in because obviously this is a, a smaller game company uh, kind of an indie thing but my next pro has got to be the live voice acting and and obviously they don't have the live voice acting for everything during the dungeon crawl it's just like text on the screen but in the actual cutscene parts in between everybody is talking I cannot tell you how great that is um, and and look I understand Actors cost money. They are hard to come by. Uh, it is one of the easiest things to cut from the game and just replace with text. I I don't know. I just tune out the minute I see text scrolling on the screen, and I just don't get the impact of the story or the characters when a game is text-based. It takes a lot for me to play those games. Uh, but with this, every line in those cutscenes is read by an actor, and they all sound good and original and interesting, and I just loved that. I love that. It made it so much easier to deal with. And, and honestly, with these visual novel sort of things, I, I know that this is Dungeon Crawler at heart, but the visual novel, it takes a lot from that genre. 
God, I wish I would. I might try more of them if they were red, but they're always just text based. You got to read everything, and I just I can't do it. So I was so happy to see to hear voices when that cutscene started. All right, let's move over to the cons. Look, I only played the demo, so I'm gonna be a little bit easier on these guys than maybe I usually am. And it's not just the relationship thing. It's they're an indie company. They're trying to make a name for themselves. They obviously worked very, very hard on this game. And again, I only played the demo. I could not actually dive into the game itself, so I am not going to point out a ton of con. I do want to point out just a couple, though, okay? Um, the first one, the level design is a little wonky, at least from what I was doing. You only get to crawl through one mission, which is long. I, I played for two hours and hadn't found the end. Um, but it's like an abandoned hospital. And I understand how they position the furniture to kind of create hallways. But some of the layout of just the standard hospital stuff, there was a hallway that goes to nowhere. And then there was... A, it's just buildings aren't designed like that and it just bugged me a little bit um i, I would have at least like in the hallway to nowhere like rubble in front of me because it's post-apocalyptic maybe that hallway collapsed or something i don't know again nitpicky and small but it was the biggest thing i had a problem with was that that 3d level design the 3d level design was nice and unexpected but at the same time uh some of it just didn't make sense overall uh, my next con, and my only other con, is kind of a two-parter. Uh, the first is the special attacks are basically the primary where, way you're attacking with the women. There's just, and they, they all have tons. They have like 15 or so. Each require a different amount of special. Each have a different affinity and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's cool. There's a lot, though. Like, a lot. Maybe they could have refined that a little bit just because it's... It's, it's hard to even scroll through and figure out which one I'm going to use, let alone, like, picking them. And on top of that, they use special points, which go down, and I understand you have to have a magic bar for that. But your attack is almost useless from what I can see. So it would have been nice that if I attack, I get a couple points of special back. Because my biggest problem with the dungeon is I ended up running out of special and couldn't get it back in any meaningful way because there wasn't there's not a ton of items in the dungeon um if they had made it so that you could like every time you attack you get a little special point it would have gave you more reason to attack other than just burn special uh because the attack did, does such insignificant damage you can't really hurt even the bad guys so uh yeah so that, that's my only my only two little grips whether or not i'm gonna stick with it well i don't know i <laughs> First of all, I do want to say, this is not a game I would normally try or be drawn to. It just, it just isn't. And that's not anything against this game creator or the, the, the production company or anything. It's just not a genre I would usually play. Nonetheless, they worked very hard on it. It is a very good game. It is one of the best that I've seen in this genre just from watching other people play. So I think, I think overall, it's a great experience. Um, that said, I might actually go back to it. If I get some disposable income, I might purchase it and see where it goes. Uh, it was compelling. I loved the fact that the characters spoke. Uh, I, I found the dungeon crawling and combat really, really epic. And honestly, I'd pay 20 bucks just to hear that battle music again. It was splendid, splendid. Um, so that's it. That's my review. Uh, I hope uh, my, my overall goal of this specific review was not necessarily to review the game. It was a little bit more to shine a spotlight on an independent developer that could use some spotlight. They put a lot of work into this game, and it is a quality product in a industry where we don't get quality products from the AAA companies. So I appreciate that. I did not encounter one bug. I did not encounter one crash. It was, one, it was seamless from start to finish. So... I hope this helped you guys find something you like. If you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, check it out. Undead Darling, No Cure for Love is the title of the game, and I appreciate you guys listening anyway. As usual, you can contact us at Old Man Gaming, uh, Facebook at Old Man Gaming DH, on Twitter at Old Man Gaming 9. You can join our Discord. The link will be in the description below. And you can influence this and all of our shows from there. And as usual, as long as you guys keep listening and watching, we'll keep making them. See you guys next week.